Why did McDonald's decide to ditch the beloved character Captain Crook? Did he steal one too many fish sandwiches? Did his abrupt 1980s makeover come under fire? I can't stop! Cookie burgers to go! Uh, not McDonald's! We know you have questions about Captain Crook, and we have answers. Here's everything we know about his disappearance so far. Ronald McDonald became known as the smiling face of McDonald's, but let's not forget that he was just one member of a wild and colorful cast of characters. They all lived together in a theoretically magical place called McDonaldland. Aside from the never not smiling Ronald, there was Mayor McCheese, the Hamburglar, Officer Big Mac, the evil Grimace, and the man who currently concerns us and concerns us greatly, the nefarious Captain Crook. Avast! I'll fix the rascal! Stop! That's not the way! Hold it! I'll put it under arrest! The characters were developed in 1970 by advertising gurus Needham, Harper and Steers, and they were reportedly designed to inspire brand loyalty among children. They certainly inspired a fair share of nightmares among kids who grew up in the era. As you can clearly see, Captain Crook was a pirate through and through. With his puffy shirt and lavish purple hat, he gravitated towards a very classic, very casual pirate look, and as you can see for yourself, he wore it very well indeed. Of course, he didn't happen to have a peg leg or wear an eye patch, but hey, nobody's perfect. I'll trade you two big lads for a Captain Crook. You're not worth it. Oh, yeah. When your name's Captain Crook, you're probably not going to grow up to become a beacon of respectability. searching for a great treasure. Oops! My mistake! This particular captain had a voracious appetite for mischief, a hunger only exceeded by his love of the filet of fish sandwich. Well, someone out there had to be eating them. Without a doubt, Captain Crook hung with a rough crowd. First, there was the Hamburglar, who devoted his life to stealing hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Then there was the evil Grimace, he of the craven and insatiable thirst for milkshakes. Meanwhile, Captain Crook himself was a force to be reckoned with, demonstrating with every sly move that one man's fish sandwich is another man's buried treasure. If Captain Crook looks familiar, it might be because he looks an awful lot like Captain Hook, the villain in Peter Pan. You know the one we're talking about. The similarities are impossible to ignore. They both had a penchant for wearing large floppy hats, velvety red jackets with lace popping out of their collars and cuffs, and of course the obligatory curly moustaches that are always so fashionable among the villainous pirate set. He even walked the plank! Ah, this looks like a good spot. Ah! However, it's worth noting that Captain Crook wasn't missing a hand, unlike the iconic villain who liked to give Peter Pan such a hard time. We can't help but wonder whether Captain Hook would have also enjoyed the filet of fish had he been born into a different era. What do you think? In the 1980s, McDonald's gave Captain Crook quite the makeover. Let's both work together and get this boat in the water! All right, but first, a filet of fish sandwich! Seemingly overnight, Captain Crook transformed into a far sillier pirate with a much more bushy moustache. He looked less like a villain and more like someone's cuddly, vaguely swashbuckling second uncle. For reasons we'll probably never understand, the powers that be at McDonald's decided to drop Crook from the pirate's name and he was promptly renamed The Captain. Instead of being psychotically obsessed with filet of fish sandwiches, he spent a good chunk of time enjoying pleasant lunches with Ronald McDonald or hanging out on his pirate ship's lifeboat. For a minute back there, it looked like the captain had finally come into his own, but fate is some cruel stuff. Sadly, this revamp wasn't enough to save him from a massive overhaul of the McDonald Land cast of characters in the 1980s. In the middle of the decade, many beloved residents of McDonald Land were dropped from the chain's advertising campaigns, including Officer Big Mac, Mayor McCheese, The Professor, and yes, Captain Crook. Hey, it's a different kind of sandwich and a great treasure. How's the story end? So why did McDonald's let the captain go? Perhaps it was a simple and dispassionate marketing move, or perhaps it was the result of a lawsuit. In the 70s, Sid and Marty Croft, the creators of the children's television program HR Puff and Stuff, sued McDonald's. Allegedly, the ad firm Needham, Harper and Steers had approached them about collaborating on a McDonald's campaign and then never contacted them again. Well, shortly after that alleged meeting, McDonald Land debuted with its own wild cast of characters. And this decidedly ragtag crew bore a rather striking resemblance to the HR Puff and Stuff creations. 
The judge evidently agreed because the Crofts ultimately won the case. We can't help but wonder if the lawsuit influenced McDonald's decision to eliminate several beloved characters from McDonaldland, including a certain Captain Crook. We've reached out to the pirate for a statement and we'll update this story as soon as more information becomes available. Ahoy! How about a cheeseburger for me? Oh no, Captain Crook, not till you learn to smile. Oh really? Watch this! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.